with family, watching at home and everyone watching at church. Welcome to this week's children's online service. I'm so glad you could join us for another week. Special warm welcome to anyone who's joining us for the very first time. So today is a very special day. Yes, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all our wonderful, lovely, beautiful mums and mother figures out there. We love you and we appreciate you. I'm sure you're all spoiling your mum and plan to for the rest of the day. Let's honour our all the women in our life that play the role of our mums, either through our aunties, our grandmas, whoever that person may be in your life. Let's show our honour through respecting them, obeying them, helping them, being kind. And that's something we should do not just today, but every single day. So let's take this time to pray for our mums and to pray for this service. Dear Lord, Thank you, Lord, for our wonderful mothers, our grandmas, our aunties, or guardians who play the role of mum in our lives. We thank you for their lives, O oh Lord. We pray that you will bless them. You bless them with long life. You bless them with joy, peace, happiness, and everything that they desire according to your will, Lord. We pray for this coming service, O oh Lord. We pray that this service shall be a blessed one shall be a service where we can honour our mothers and also a service where we can learn more about you, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you've heard us and we give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So now it's time for our session of praise and worship. Please join me as we now praise and worship our God.
Father, for that awesome time of praise and worship. Thank you, Father, for you have indeed met with us. You are indeed here with us. You inhabit the praises of your people. That means that you're right here among us, dwelling and really just taking your place here with us as we praise and worship to you, Father. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for our friends and our families, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do for us and just for who you are. We love you and we thank you. Bless this service, O oh Father Lord. We pray that you will speak to our hearts and that we'll learn something more about you as a result of this service. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It's offering time. So as you all know, it's Mother's Day and we're going to view and listen to all your lovely warm messages and pictures and songs that you've done for your mum, honouring them and showing how much you care for them. She's sweet, she's the best, she's kind, she's loving. I love her, I thank God for giving her to me, for all the things she's done. I love her so much. She's the best. I can't thank her enough. I love her so much. This is my mummy. Mwah. to all the mothers in the king's house may god bless you may god continue to bless your lives today is your day i hope you enjoy it may you continue to be a blessing to us happy mother's day may god bless you and all the mothers in the king's house i love you and may he continue to pour his blessings upon you happy mother's day Oh, that was so lovely. It was lovely seeing all your lovely messages and tributes and pictures for your lovely mum. Well done. I'm sure your mum's enjoyed that. I did too. So now it's time for this week's lesson. God's story, one lost sheep. So part of God's story is about a shepherd and a lost sheep. And it goes like this. Jesus spent a lot of time teaching people about God's love. And sometimes people wanted to spend time with Jesus after he got finished teaching. So they would invite him over for dinner. Jesus loved to spend time with people. Jesus would even hang out with people who no one else wanted to hang out with. This bothered some other people called Pharisees. Pharisees were religious experts who thought it was wrong for Jesus to spend time with certain kinds of people. One day, the Pharisees muttered, Jesus welcomes sinners and eats with them. But Jesus knew God still loves people, even when we make wrong choices. So Jesus told the Pharisees a story to teach them a lesson about God. These stories were called parables. This is the parable of the one lost sheep. Jesus said, suppose you were a shepherd with 100 sheep and one of your sheep got lost. Wouldn't you leave the 99 in open country and go after the sheep until you found it? And when you found it, you would joyfully put the sheep on your shoulders and take it home. And when you got home, you would call your friends and neighbors together and say, rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. The people listening were probably thinking about the shepherds they knew. Good shepherds paid attention to their sheep 
They knew each one by name, and they kept them safe from danger. They would have remembered the poems by the prophet Ezekiel and King David, where God said he was like a shepherd. Of course, a good shepherd would want all of his sheep to be safe and would do whatever it took to rescue his one lost sheep, even risking his own life. Then Jesus explained the parable to the Pharisees. In the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who do not need to repent. See, the 99 sheep are like people who already believe in Jesus. The lost sheep are like the people who don't know how much God loves them or that Jesus came to rescue them. And Jesus is the good shepherd who was willing to lay down his own life to rescue his lost sheep. Jesus said that he came to seek and save those who are lost. When a person starts to follow Jesus, Jesus said it's like a party in heaven. We don't really know exactly what a party in heaven looks like. But since God made everything, and God is the reason good things like love and fun and laughter exist, a party in heaven is probably bigger and better than anything we could imagine. And Jesus wants everyone to know that it's a party where everyone is invited. Because every single person matters to God. And that's the story of the shepherd and one lost sheep. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus told stories called parables. One parable is about a shepherd and 100 sheep. One sheep got lost. The shepherd left the 99. The lost sheep was found. The shepherd threw a party because God cares about every single person. And that's a part of God's story. Amazing. Do you remember what a shepherd's job is? Oh wait, yes, it's to protect sheep and to keep them safe. A bit like our mums actually. They're wonderful at keeping us safe and looking out for us. Jesus told the parable of the shepherd who was looking after a hundred sheep who went out to look for one lost sheep and left the 99 behind. The shepherd was so determined to find this lost sheep, took his time and he indeed found the lost sheep. He was so happy that he found the sheep safe and sound. As we all saw and heard, there is actually rejoicing in heaven. When someone believes and follows Jesus, there's actually this rejoicing taking place in heaven. Uh, A bit like a party, actually. Jesus is the good shepherd who laid down his life to rescue the lost. That is how much he loves us. Everyone matters to him equally. He loves us even when we go astray. He wants to find us and bring us back home safe. He loves us even when we disobey. He loves us so much. Remember, Jesus loves you. He loves me. He loves everyone else too. for this week's new memory verse and it's taken from the book of Luke chapter 19 verse 10 and it reads the son of man came to find lost people and save them the son of man was how Jesus referred to himself so this scripture is letting us know that Jesus came to find lost ones and loss represents those who don't realize how much Jesus loves them or those who don't believe in him or those who have even turned away and that every single one of us have fallen into that category at one point or another in our lives and it goes to show that Jesus came to die for every single person and to save them we must always remember Jesus is the good shepherd who laid down his life to rescue the lost out of his huge love that he has for us So now we have a lost sheep word search for you to complete. There's 10 words all linked and associated with the lost sheep parable that we looked at earlier on. So what you could do in completing this activity is you could pause the video and 
take time to find the words, or you could challenge yourself to find 10 words, as I said, all linked into the Lost Sheep word search. Find these words within two minutes. Let's see how much you can find in two minutes. Great. Well done to everyone who took part in that activity and gave it a try. So now we have a special song in honour of our mums.
So now it's time for us to share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So now it's time for our 2021 confession. And it reads, I trust God for a year of unusual elevation. I will humble myself daily and stay radically committed to God's word, God's will and God's ways, no matter what. As a result, I will shine brighter and brighter and reflect God's glory every day and in every way. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the end of the service. See you next Sunday.